What's up guys, welcome back to the BJJ Fanatics channel. It is a huge honor for me to present to you today ADCC reigning champion Giancarlo Bodoni. He's gonna grace us with some knowledge from the open guard position. Do you have an instructional coming out soon on that? Yeah, we have an instructional on uh, butterfly guard or seated open guard uh, coming out pretty soon, hopefully. Okay, yeah. cool. And I think today he's gonna show something on heisting from... Yeah, so basically um, against a kneeling opponent, a lot of people ask me about, um, they see me a lot in competitions, specifically at uh, uh, recently in Kazakhstan, I competed at Aiga, and I was able to hit a lot of, in both uh, the quarterfinals, uh, semifinals and finals, uh, a lot of like hip heisting and hook sweeps and stuff like that. Um, so we're just going to show kind of how you can play between those two, um, a little bit of an intro to a good portion of that instructional. Let's do it. Yeah. So um, when we're going against a kneeling opponent, basically the first thing that we want to look at is we want to assess our training partner's posture. And specifically, I want to look at the relationship between my training partner's head and shoulders, okay, and his hips, okay? And that's going to be just kind of our general cue to see, okay, am I going to start with some sort of a pulling motion or am I going to start with some sort of a pushing motion? Um, and so everything in jiu-jitsu is going to come down to action and reaction and creating this push and pull dynamic and the directions that we push and pull are going to vary but it's all going to be based around our initial movement training partner gives us a reaction we're going to base or follow up okay on the tension that we get from our partner so let's say for example uh i'm going against placido i'm in a butterfly guard situation and his head is forward okay from here this would be a good opportunity for us to start taking our training partner over with kind of our classic uh sweeps in that position all right so a classic kind of butterfly guard sweep when I start and I initiate that pull very often from here, you're gonna, we're gonna find that your training partner gets very tense and he starts pulling back and away from us. So getting my training partner's hips high, getting his head down can be tough, but I can use that tension to then start coming up. And now I go into a level change where my head's higher than my partner's, all right? And then from here, this is gonna, this is gonna allow me, this is, he'll, when I get into this position, I'll get a few, uh, common reactions but if my training partner's head starts coming forward then i can either one if he's not holding onto my leg move my leg back and pull him back in a forwards direction so you saw how we initiated with a pull he reacted to that pull we came up and then he started driving back into us okay and as he drives back into us we pull him back in that forwards direction or sometimes your training partner will grab a hold of your leg okay with the intention of putting you back down to the floor and when he does that, we just slide our knee towards our own foot and we use that momentum of him coming forward to then send him back over, okay, with a sumigashi. So there's a really, uh, there's a lot of interplay, to interplay between those positions, okay? Um, there's a lot of other things that we can do from this position. We can look to elevate our partner, get underneath him. We can look to enter into their legs. But initially, I think that push and pull game and using a sumigashi, a classic hook sweep, okay, and there's a bunch of, bunch of varieties of, uh, of grips that we can use to set that up, and playing between that and hip heisting works very, very well. And they also work in the opposite way. So say, for example, from here, I was able to successfully hit a sumigashi and roll my partner, but a lot of times because we lose connection here, your training partner can look to come up, we can use that to start coming up okay, to our knees as our training partner goes to recover. And then from there, drag our partner down, okay, pull him back in a forwards direction as he goes to recover. So the two moves that I think work very, very well together, and there's a lot of different little combinations there depending on the grips that we can use, but that's just kind of the basic gist of that um, little hip heisting and sumigashi combination. Very cool, guys, by the time you see this video, his instructional on open guard play may already be out, so make sure you go check out the BJ Fanatics website for that and look for Giancarlo Bodoni's other instructionals. I very clearly remember Giancarlo using this exact same material at ADCC trials yeah. against James Franco, I remember. Yeah, yeah. And I remember Gordon Ryan talking with Giancarlo about the strategy before that match and Giancarlo going out there and doing exactly what he showed here with finesse. Awesome stuff, Giancarlo. Thank you.